Hello everybody, my name is Ais. I am a Polish volunteer in Volunteer Center Skopje. Today uh, I want to introduce you my colleague. Hi everybody, I'm Dunia, I'm French, I'm on French Service Civic. Can you please, Nicola, introduce yourself for our auditory and maybe they will, it's like, a, of course, Macedonian people know you because, uh, you know, you are like a local director, yeah. okay. but maybe some different people from different countries want to know more about you. Please introduce yourself. Of course. Uh, hi, everybody. I am Nikola Popovsky and uh, I am a film director. I just had, uh, I just, I've just returned from uh, drama in Greece where I took part with my short movie The Last Church Bells within the official competition program International at uh, the Short Film Festival in Drama. Yeah. yeah. Wow, so I am amazing. a film director, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Nicola. Yeah. And we'll not to take you for a very long time and maybe we can start to ask our questions. Uh, what do you think, Dunia? Yeah. It will be okay, yeah? yeah? Okay, can I ask first question? And. Uh, your short movie, The Last Church Bell, was awarded at the uh, Montreal World Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That's and true. you won first prize. Of course. Yeah. And do you expect this? What you will be the first? Your reaction. Yeah. yeah. Uh, How it was? No, I didn't expect it at all. But uh, somehow I was uh, like uh, hoping for it. You know, it's mm. we are humans after yeah. all, and <laughs> we. At least the hope is the least thing we have. So, but to be honest, I didn't accept, expect it at all because uh, we weren't there. Usually, people that are there get the prize and stuff like that. And uh, it's a huge competition uh, mm -hmm. globally. So, I was a bit of a it was a bit of a surprise for me to to find out that uh, the last Church Bells, my first professional yeah. movie. Yeah won the first prize on the Montreal yeah. uh, World Film Festival on its uh, first international premiere. Wow. So it was a huge news for me. It was a great start. Yeah, yeah. but I want to ask you, you was the first Macedonian who won on this like a very big uh, festival as uh, a director, film director? Well, I'm not quite sure, but uh, I maybe it is a first uh, a fully Macedonian production that uh, won the first prize, one of the major, mm. major prizes. Wow. Uh, so first uh, Macedonian movie, first Macedonian director maybe, but uh, that's not something that we should uh, somehow point it out so much. Uh, yeah. yeah. So the, the main thing is that uh, the movie uh, got to its audience, uh, yeah. the audience yeah. saw it, the jury, mm. it became recognized globally, so I hope I hope that it will uh, open new perspectives mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. for for further um, festival yeah, yeah. Uh, you know participations yeah. yeah and do you remember how many films like uh, were in competition with you I with believe you? it was they there were around 50 uh, short wow. movies 50. selecting selected uh, from like yeah. 2000 maybe wow. <laughs> so Okay. Uh, it, the honor is really great yeah. and the feeling is Congratulations! Really Congratulations yeah. for this! Thank it's thank really you. amazing! Yeah, really. It is a, a, sh a silent story about uh, okay. the old man that is uh, the last remaining occupant of a deserted village mm -hmm. and every day he goes to the church, he lights up a candle and then he goes to the church bell mm -hmm. and he communicates with his friend yeah. from the other village through the church bell. He hits the bell, yeah. then his friend hits the bell and that's the way they communicate each other. Mm -hmm. So it is a way to show uh, how lonely people are getting at the places that are getting uh, yeah. empty because yeah. uh, people are leaving those uh, houses. Uh, one day there will be no one to even to bury us maybe oh, yeah. who knows it's it's, yeah. it's a really hor uh, horrifying story you know? yeah. within what, the rural places yeah and what is about the symbolic of this bell it's like what you can say what is mean for these people this bell maybe it's just one communi uh, it's like a communication stuff. device yeah yeah maybe it's uh, i had a question on another occasion uh, about the, the religious symbols mm. in the movie 
like, like the bell mm. especially but i uh, i am pointing out that uh, the meaning of the bell extends to something greater than religion it's uh, our need of communication yeah. and you know i believe and uh, i think that people are not created to be alone so of course we are social uh, animals yeah so as other as it is was it was once said uh, desperate times seek desperate measures mm -hmm. measures so uh, this uh, protagonist of mine uh, find a way to yeah. communicate with someone yeah. through the church bell so okay. the symbol of the the church bell is mm -hmm. a symbol of uh, the need of people to communicate it's okay. not just a religious symbol okay. in the in my movies so yeah. okay that's that's the point okay yeah. and can i ask you like why do you want to talk about loneliness loneliness uh be because it is uh it is scary how uh, common this thing is becoming these days even in the, the cities yeah, yeah. yeah although we are surrounded by people Yeah. Some people don't realize how mm -hmm. lonely mm -hmm. they are, uh, okay. so because uh, 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 I don't know, maybe the the technology, yeah. the, the new way of life, the, the everyday obligations, yeah. they they are really they can be really uh, stressful for everybody. Yeah. So loneliness is something that occurs. Uh, Uh, very uh, constantly in our society. When you uh, make a movie, it is a form of expression for you, mm -hmm. and it is so I don't know. It's like how to explain. It's like the message. The message. What do you want to communicate to with the viewer every time you changing it, or you just want to say to people, don't forget about your parents, for example, when these old people is living alone, oh. or don't forget about your friends, don't forget about your hometown. What did you want to ask, say to people, yeah, with as a director? <coughs> well, I wanted to send a message mm -hmm. to everyone that uh, I believe that uh, these uh, things happen because uh, some people uh, are s simply couldn't keep up the pace with the changes, the, the time, because we are only humans after all, you yeah. know, uh, and. Uh, We we have to fight. We have to try and keep the pace with the with the time. Otherwise, um, there is nothing left for us. Uh, and so, guys, don't give up. Keep up the pace. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> have because a uh, it's y there is nothing else to do. You have to fight. Mm -hmm. That's it. Don't give up. <laughs> yeah. That's why. That's what you want to. Pass. That was my message because. Uh, uh, I don't blame those people. Mm. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you want to maybe to to, to make to, a zoom on. Yes, on I'm just pointing it out yeah. as uh, as an something that appears, and mm. uh, uh, I I just uh, believe that mm -hmm. uh, we must not give up uh, on uh, the struggle to uh, somehow manage to keep up with all the changes yeah. that are occurring on daily basis and yeah. stuff like that that are really shocking for us. But what else is there for us than to fight, yeah. <laughs> to yeah, keep up? That's true. Yeah, uh, I would like uh, also to point out that uh, uh, making a movie without any dialogue mm. is uh, quite a challenge f for a director because yeah. uh, not only that uh, m the film uh, began uh, without any dialogue in the history mm -hmm. but because it's it is a pure form of uh, of life and uh, just moving pictures without any dialogue and uh, i've been i've witnessed many m films without any dialogue mm -hmm. but uh, i had this feeling that these films are trying to stay silent just to remain silent like mm -hmm. Lart Lart, how do you say Lart, Lart Lart Ah, something <laughs> similar to that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it, I was really uh, aware of this uh, situation that my, I might find myself in that kind of situation. Yeah. Uh, so when you see the movie, you can get the strange feeling that uh, it is really forced without any need. Yeah. But to be honest, uh, I am really happy to see people that have seen the movie that uh, uh, claim that uh, 
they didn't have this strange feeling. They could just watch it in in one breath. Meto Jovanovsky is uh, the leading role. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he is um, he is like uh, an icon of um, the Macedonian cinematography. Okay. And when I was thinking I need an old man, somehow I figured out that in the meantime Meto became old. <laughs> And uh -huh. nobody gave him a, a role where he's playing an old man who is lonely and stuff like that. Yeah. And I approached him because I really uh, knew his potential. Mm. I I considered other options, but um, to be honest, I I was really convinced that Meto is the guy. Yeah. So I approached him. Yeah. He recognized the potential this story has, yeah. and he accepted. So we move on to shoot the. You lucky. We, I didn't yeah. do any aud auditions or yeah. stuff like I that. I think you're very lucky because you know, it's it was your first movie and you will success to have a big uh, star here. So yeah. I think really maybe your project like was um, he was. Uh, if there was no meta. <laughs> no, he he liked it. He liked your project. Yes, he, he saw the potential. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. read it and he said, "This is good. Uh, this can be recognized yeah. globally." Let's do it. <laughs> Where we can see your this movie in Macedonia, in Skopje, mm. in which festival you will show to us your movie? And there is this uh, um, film festival in Skopje, Kine Nova. Mm -hmm. It is a festival of uh, first and second movies of the directors. And uh, within the short program, uh, there is an opportunity for the audience to come and see the movie on the big screen, as it should. And uh, if uh, there is any need, they might do several uh, presentation screenings. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So feel free to come at Kina Nova. Are you working on any other projects now? Well, uh, I've just finished uh, the post production and the project in whole. Yeah. Uh, it was a television series uh, in 10 episodes wow. uh, about. Uh, our famous poet uh, Kocho Ratsin. I don't know uh -huh. if you guys I, ever I heard about it. We heard name. something. Yeah, 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 we heard something in our office because this you know sometimes we're something. learning something from uh, okay. Macedonian literature history. So yeah. for the viewers, Kocho Ratsin is uh, uh, originally named like Kosta Solev mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ratsin. Is a Macedonian poet who is really important for us because he had, although not only that he his poetry is like phenomenal for us yeah. uh, as a people, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, he is a, a really important historic figure because uh, when uh, we didn't have any freedom, he published his poetry in Macedonian language mm -hmm. and he was uh, prosecuted because of that. Oh, His okay. uh, uh, <coughs> His book was like uh, published in 4,000 uh, samples and uh, wow. it was uh, censored mm -hmm. and uh, the authorities took it out. Okay. So we are, I just finished a fictional uh, television yeah. series about Kocheratin. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it will be shown, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it is uh, something I have done uh, recently mm -hmm. and now at the moment I am developing and I am working on the production of my first feature length uh, film ah, mm -hmm. great. Uh, but yeah. I am still waiting on some answers yeah. and yeah, uh, okay. hopefully we will have another opportunity to discuss upon this of issues course. later of we hope we can for meet the, with you for the series that is uh, entitled as the red poet because yeah. he was a com communist and ah, stuff like that <laughs> And yeah. um, uh, and uh, after for that, user, yeah. maybe for a feature length movie, who nice. knows? Or maybe another prize for the church bells, who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I would be glad to. to we'll be to glad to meet with you again because yeah. it will be really interesting to following your success. You know, yeah. it's like in, not just in Macedonia, in the beginning, world too. It's your beginning, so you you know, for you it will be like a good memory, like how you start your career. Yeah, and it, of course. Why not? I would be glad to to chat with uh, with this kind of uh, uh, 
magazines or yeah. to chat just to to talk about experiences as, as well yeah. So, yeah and i might as well congratulations on the uh, anniversary of voices because uh, as far <laughs> as i know it is uh, like 10 year anniversary and uh, i will just uh, point out that i was I personally was part of the team that started this thing. Wow! So <laughs> yes, it it is really an honor to be here yeah. for Voices. Great! It's amazing. Thank you very much for this amazing interview. Thank I you. hope all Thank our you. viewers you. will be Thank really you. glad to see this, and yeah. they will uh, have a very big desire for going to this festival here in Skopje. Yeah. You know, and later. Kinenova remembers the name. Yeah, Kinenova, and we are waiting for you there. We will, there I'm is, sure, yeah, we will go we'll there, yeah. yeah. The festival has a, an online uh, website, so mm -hmm. you might point that out within the interview. Yeah, yeah. with the, so, the, the So they follow the update. Okay, yeah. Yeah. nice. It's Just nice. make sure you come. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And thank you very much. With you again today was Eyes and... Dunia. And Nikola Popovsky, our guest. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.